guys. That's why you don't want to get greedy with this, right? You just stick it. He finds a cat, then I find a cat, and he finds a cat, and I find a cat. Get stuck and grab it. <laughs> Too close, you can grab it. The less is on though, you can start cutting it. So you gotta keep your um, hand these two disengagement, you can cut it. So if you push my blade down too much, right, then it's the same as the cheese saw, basically. So I wouldn't go farther than that, right? Now he's giving me his arm. So we're gonna go back and forth, I cut him, then he finds him, he cuts him, and then I cut him. Well, yeah. So you don't want the movements too big. If Ken pushes too much there, that's why I cut him here. So this drill teaches you to keep the movement small, and it teaches you to stick with your blade, right? It makes a big movement, he dies, right? He doesn't make it too short of a movement, he dies, right? <laughs> so he's teaching you correct movement. So he comes in. So if I make a bigger movement than that, right now I'm here. If I push any more than that, I die. So teaching you very precise movement. Now, then when you translate it, he comes in. Now my movement's a lot more precise than, I don't have to move a lot, right? So you never give a guy a chance to attack twice because you're not doing big movement, right? Right, so, cool. That translates to empty hand for those that will come. It's the same when you push hands with empty hand. All your movements there, right? The guy touches you. It's the same. You're feeling. Okay, so we got a partner. Play with that.